For the last several days, I have been seeing people questioning how Al were going to be returning to The Flash, which end up pushing Stephen Amell to straight up come out and say, quit asking these stupid questions because it doesn't matter right now. And he is right. It doesn't matter. We should be happy that he's coming back at all. But this is the Arrows community. And people don't know how to just enjoy something for once. People have to criticize it. Which is the exact reason why I'm doing this video. <laughs> because people don't know either A, how to shut up and enjoy it. Or B, look at everything that we know. And we know how Oliver comes back. We already know this. But everyone seems to have, to have forgotten it. So now I need to re-talk about it. <laughs> There's only been a few people that I've seen actually connect the dots on this. Which is mind-blowing because everyone should be talking about this by now. But no one seems to be. During Fight Snake, we got Earth Prime comics. Which are canon to the Arrowverse. They were confirmed by Eric Wallace and the Flash Riders to be canon, and Stargirl even connected those comics to the show in its season three premiere. It was connected. In the Earth Time comics, we had two teasers to Flash season nine. We had blood work is given from Argus, and the Spectre showing up. In issue number six, which is the final issue of Earth Prime Comics, which were written by the Flash writers, the Spectre showed up. We had several scenes with him in it. And we actually saw him. We didn't see a ghost version. We saw him. This means that Oliver Queen, in a way... Did not die in Crisis Infinite Earths. All he did was fully become the Spectre. When he died at dawn of time in hour four of Crisis. Which I think was the most pathetic hour of that entire five hour thing. <laughs> well, one of the pathetic hours. Um, <laughs> it was some cool moments, but come on. The death scene with Oliver was kind of stupid. But the point is... Is that when Oliver died in that scene, he didn't legitimately die. He became the Spectre. He, Oliver is full-time Spectre. There's no more, he's going to become the Green Arrow when he comes back in present day. This is full-blown Oliver Queen is a Spectre, period. There's none of that. Oliver Queen is a Spectre, nothing else. Will he resemble Oliver Queen? Sure, because he's around Barry. But when he's around, let's say, uh, some random person, he's not going to identify as Oliver Queen. He's going to identify as a Spectre. If you remember in Crisis Hour 4, I want to say it was, in the beginning, when Barry asked the Spectre, are you Oliver Queen? And he said yes. He, he kind of hesitated, but at the same time, he was saying it confidently for Barry's sake. It's still Oliver Queen in there. He's still that honorable, uh, respectful hero that he's been for the past 10 years. The only difference is, is that he has a much more higher purpose than he did as the Green Arrow. Or the Arrow or the Hood. Or even as Oliver Queen. So, he will appear to Barry and Dig and Wally and Team Flash and Team Arrow and... All the heroes is Oliver Queen, you know, everyone that they knew and loved. But in reality, this is a Spectre. Who is, yes, on their side. He's not an enemy or anything. But, you know, Oliver Queen is a Spectre. Now, the question can be asked here, why didn't he show up in Season 7 or Season 8? Or the back in Season 6 when the Speed Force was dying for the Flash? Or when the Force near destroyed the city. Or when it's his name, when Armageddon happened. Or when Deathstorm showed up and no one could besides Frost. Or when Thawne and Baron near destroyed the entire city. Why didn't he show up then? 
I don't know the logical answer to this, and I, I can't... It depends how the Flash Riders explain it in 909 when the Spectre shows up. Assuming that's his first appearance. <laughs> like, I, I did a whole video, like, uh, two weeks ago, saying that in a season 9 trailer, I'm pretty sure that's a Spectre. I might be right. Uh, we, we should be getting another trailer, I think, uh, soon here. Uh, this month, at least that's what's been uh, going on around Twitter on that. That we're going to be getting another trailer for The Flash Season 9. So that's what we're never going to be dealing with here. But, and we'll probably learn more about that one scene, hopefully, uh, that I've been talking about for a while. But, I do think that The Flash Riders will explain... How and why Oliver's back is a specter. But they didn't totally explain the how. <laughs> but why he's coming back now needs to be the number one question. Because if he just like, if he's been watching over Earth Prime for the last three years. I mean, there's been a, a few crises that have happened. I mean, in 704 alone, we nearly had the entire city being wiped out by Gadabra. And he didn't show up. You know, we had the Force Star, which nearly destroyed the entire city. He didn't show up. We had the Speed Force die. Spectre didn't show up. <laughs> we had Armageddon, which was a world-threatening event, and Spectre didn't show up. Now, that doesn't mean that he doesn't care, but for the Flash writers, they need to be very, very, very careful what they say. Like, for example, if they say, oh, he didn't just show up because he didn't feel like there was a big enough threat, then what the hell does he consider a big threat? <laughs> Armageddon probably was the biggest threat Earth Prime's had. Let's be real here. And it's probably the biggest threat Central City's ever seen since Zoom and Thawne. I mean, it was really up there. It destroyed the entire planet in one timeline. It nearly happened in our timeline. In the present timeline. So, I, you can't tell me that that type of extension level event didn't call for the Spectre to show up. Or when Barry and Thawne literally nearly destroyed an entire city just fighting each other. You can't tell me the Spectre didn't see that and didn't think they at least interfere. Those are the kind of things that would be going through at least my mind if the rides go down that route. Now, another route they can say is he's been off in the multiverse protecting planets from new crises that's been going on across the multiverse, the infinite Earths, and saving countless hundreds, billions, trillions of lives and... He came back to Earth Prime after hearing of a big threat. Which lines up with the Earth Prime comics because in Earth Prime comics when the Spectre showed up and we saw him reveal his Oliver Queen, he did say there was a crisis coming that's bigger than anything the heroes ever had to face, specifically Barry. It's ever had to face. Or I'm assuming it's specifically Barry because that's the only show that's left. <laughs> and so the fact that he's showing up in 909, you know what is with blood work? And I do think we have the right to be a little bit skeptical whether it's like a bloodwork fear vision or anything like that. Um, I do think it's fair to say this is 100% the Spectre. Now, could this play a role and like Barry gets whammy by bloodwork, he sees his worst fears, the Spectre comes in and saves Barry. I think it's something that no one's talked about. <laughs> I think that could be a really cool thing. Like, Barry thinks that he's not real. That, or that Oliver's not real when he shows up. And then it really is a specter. He truly is there to save Barry before he does something you won't be able to come back from, possibly. And saves him and he gets out of that whammy that Blubber puts him in. I don't know if I prefer that. But at the same time, it would be a cool thing to do. <laughs> as well as to get Oliver back. Now, we don't know how much hours in 909. We won't know if the episode airs. To be honest with you, we won't. Um, we don't know how much Wally or Dig and Bloodwork are all in it. I am assuming it is a uh, Barry-centric episode. 
At least I hope it is. I mean, it shouldn't be Barry and Iris 24 some minutes episode. This is a one episode out of just nine that does not need Iris or Team Flash at all. It needs to be Barry, 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 Barry. Period. We don't need 20 different side plots going on. We need Barry, Oliver, Wally, Dick, and Butterwork. That is it. I think Eric Wallace knows that. I don't think the writers do. Because they need to focus on Barry and Iris. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be something. But I do think 909 will probably be the best episode of the entire series if they do it right. I mean, just from hearing it, that's what people are saying. <laughs> um, this depends what happens. I mean, Blower is one of the best villains on the show, at least to me. So, I, I can't imagine... All of, you know, the writers being like, yeah, let's throw in a sealed side plot BS and then here's Iris with Barry for zero reason. <laughs> like, can we just have like a guys episode? Like, is Barry, Oliver, Wally, Dick? Those are the four people I just need in one scene together. Not even together, just oh, like one scene each with Barry. That's all I need. I, I, I don't need anything else in the show. It's the final season, final season of the Arrowverse. That's all I freaking need. We don't need 20 different things going on. We don't. This is 9. I, I have made publicly clear. I am skeptical of this 9. Of this is 9. Because we know Bear and Iris were joined to the hip this season. Which should not even be remotely happening, but whatever. It's going by season 4. Where we are the Flash BS. It, it, no. Iris is not the Flash, and she has no idea what Barry been through as the Flash. She hasn't been paying attention enough to know that. <laughs> she didn't care when she when remember when Barry went to the Speed Force to save the entire planet. When he came out, and Iris hated Barry for it. He said how stupid he was for doing that for abandoning her like he wanted to. Like when Barry brought Excess back to 2049 when they learned that Thawn, when she was working with Thawne, and Iris got pissed at Barry for being not being okay with that. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, that was Todd Hope, but we also had some scenes in 6 and 7 where Iris is completely and utterly just wrong. <laughs> and it's like, there's no way in hell that a legit human being would think that way. <laughs> I mean, I... Barry was right all these times. I mean, even in Stavridor version was right. <laughs> like, can you imagine if Stavridor actually killed Iris? Like, I know we all think about it, <laughs> but it would be so different. <laughs> it would be probably, might be a little bit better, honestly. And I mean, season 8 got screwed over because of Candace. Because in 7, because she missed so many days in a row, they had to bring the time sickness in early. Well, they didn't want to do it in season 8. So they screwed up that timeline. It would have worked perfectly if Candace didn't screw it all up. <laughs> Just saying. I respect the hell out of Candace. I really do. But she really did screw over season 7 and season 8. She screwed both her storylines up. Not the entire season 8. She screwed over her storylines. Which led to her little fan base attacking the season and Eric Wallace and the cast. Because Iris wasn't getting enough screen time. <laughs> and her story didn't add up. Which isn't Eric Walls' fault. That's Candace's. And, you know, maybe if she didn't miss those days and stuff, it would have been a little bit different. The point I'm trying to make is that season 9 100% will not be burning season 8. If you love season 8, you most definitely will not like season 9. Well, I shouldn't say like. You, you won't love season 9, but you might like it on some level. I just, it's a final season, and my hopes were really high for the season, and they just dipped the second we learned that I was going to be in the field, when Barry's finding a guy with those boomerangs. <laughs> um, that's not the flash that I want, where he needs his wife 24-7 to fight a guy with those boomerangs. Like, no, I, we should be past that. And I know I bring it up every single video I do. But come on, we don't need Barry needing help from his wife, who's mostly going to be pregnant at the end of the season, 
or at the very least giving birth to one of their kids, you can't tell me this is really the best option they have here. Like, you can't call in Dig and the Premier and help fight the guy. No, let's call in Iris with a plasma gun. Ooh, what the hell? I, I, I'm i sure it'll look better to Premier than the set photos, but we know Iris is there fighting guys with those boomerangs. We saw that in a trailer. So they're keeping that in. <laughs> Why? I, but it's... You know Eric Wallace is folded to Candace Payne stands who can't stand it when Barry's the main focus. It has to be Barry and Iris or no Barry at all. So thank you, Eric Wallace, for folding that logic, apparently. <laughs> like, I get why they're doing it, but this isn't season four. This is season nine. There's season eight. <laughs> like, we shouldn't be there. And then we have the entire community now split over two things with the show, quote-unquote, sucking because ours wasn't enough, and B... How the hell is Alva returning? Well, we already know that. <laughs> Both those two things are stupid things that the community is split over right now. And it isn't hard to figure out. <laughs> yeah, the only good thing to come out of this being the last ever show in the last ever season. We'll never have to deal with this toxic community again. Because this is not part of the Elvers. I, I think it's hard to say that right now. I'd be surprised if it was. And I don't know how the rumor got started, but Legend of Tomorrow getting an extra season? Yeah, no. The Flash is the last era of our season. The last era of our show. And if Legends gets an additional season by James Gunn, you're going to expect a full-on one-hour rant. Because uh, <laughs> that's going to be BS. It's going to be pure BS. And uh, no one will watch it besides the 3,000 people that watch Legends. <laughs> Compared to the nearly 1 million people that watch The Flash every year. That will undoubtedly watch this 9 specifically because of Oliver showing up. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, I, it, whatever. I I can go on for hours and hours ranting about James Gunn and the Air Force community being stupid. But <laughs> we know how Oliver's coming back. We know how it works. How he's going to be showing up as a Spectre. Assuming that is a specter, and he's not some blood work BS, <laughs> you know, assuming that is the case, that he is a specter, we know how he'll show up and why he's back. We know why. We know how. No one wants to pay attention to it, but we do know. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.